Hey, Sheldon, uh, what challenges do the Golden Knights present for your team tonight? Talented team that plays quick, uh, transition really fast, very dangerous on the rush, uh, big and strong as well. And, you know, close on you quickly, uh, play hard defensively. So they're just they're just really good and dynamic in, in a lot of areas. Uh, a lot of similarities, their offensive game uh, on the rush and things uh, to what we saw in Colorado. So um, from the preparation standpoint, there's that piece of it, but there's there's other elements of the game that, are challenging with their physicality and how hard they play as well. How did uh, Andre Kasha get through the night uh, leading into this morning? Yeah, seems good. Uh, seems good to the point he didn't uh, feel the need to skate this morning. He's confident he'll be able to play tonight. Uh, but it, it is one of those injuries that, uh, you know, could flare up or, or at any time. So we'll have an extra and warm up and make a decision uh, at that time. Thank you. Next, one to Mark Masters with TSN. Go ahead, Mark. Sheldon, uh, is Campbell starting tonight? He is, yes. After that game in Colorado, uh, uh, he said, you know, if he plays up to his standards, you guys win that game every time. We know that historically he's been hard on himself. I'm wondering your perspective on how he's dealing with that this season, uh, if you've seen progress there, or what's your perspective on that? We've seen tremendous progress in, in, in that area, and, and you don't have to look any further than the results on the ice, really. I mean, regardless of how he answers questions or whatever that the case may be, uh, you know, that the proof is is when he's in the net uh, and he's just even keel, he just goes out and, and prepares for the next day and and uh, comes back and is ready to play. But uh, he was outstanding the other night in Colorado and, you know, uh, without question, you know, I think he ends up, Given up five on the night, but uh, you know there's there's a lot more available there um, for them to score. And even early in the game, there's a couple opportunities before we built our initial lead uh, where he was great. So yeah, uh, he has been great all season, and uh, Colorado was no exception. So he'll he'll match his his previous career high for starts in the NHL tonight. So everything moving forward is going to be in in a way, I guess, uncharted territory. Have you seen enough from him from him though over the last year that you're pretty confident in what you get or is it still a bit of a question mark i think we're certainly confident uh, in that area the big question coming in for him was could he stay healthy and uh he's done a great job of that like i said we've you know and, and you know, players get hurt all the time and things happen but uh, just despite the workload there hasn't been a time where he's um, he's felt unable to to practice or soar or anything like that. It's been it's been really good, and we've managed his workload on some practice days. But that's has that was just uh, uh, preventative more than anything. Um, it, not, nothing that's ever come from him or our medical team that he's been unable to do anything. So that was probably more of a question than anything coming in with the workload um, because of the injuries and, and things that he had last season. But uh, in terms of managing that, he and the medical team, as I've mentioned a few times previously, have found a real nice groove and our strength and conditioning uh, team has done a terrific job of, of helping him. And I think he's in a good place with his body and managing this very well. And then we've had a significant break in a light schedule here. So all those things combined, I think, have got him feeling good. What's your sense of where the, the Muzzin Hall pairing is at right now? I, I think that... Uh, for me, I know I know Muzz missed missed time uh, here early coming out of the break and it's taken a little bit, but I've been really happy with Justin Hall's game uh, since we've come back from this break. Um, you know, nobody's going to play a perfect game, especially with the challenging minutes that those guys take. Um, and then that, what the roles that they play, you know, at five on five and on the penalty kill. Uh, those are tough minutes against very good players, you know, but I, I've seen great progress in Justin Hall's game. And I think that's a, a real positive, obviously, for him uh, in that pairing and, and our team in general. Next, we'll go to Kevin McGram with the Toronto Star. Go ahead, Kevin. Hey, Sheldon, I was asking your players this. Just wonder if there's uh, anything about a long road trip that you particularly enjoy. Well, they're a lot easier when you're coming to the warm weather in, in nice cities, you know, uh, such as uh, Vegas here. 
um, you know, you get to spend time with your teammates and time with your staff and all of that. Uh, you know, frankly speaking, uh, you, you'd never really want road trips to be too long. You know, you don't want to be away from home for too long. Um, it does tend to wear on you as a bit of, as a bit of a grind. I don't think we're at that point yet in this trip, but, uh, you know, uh, um, you know, we're game two of, of six, at least six games in a row on the road. Um, and there's some challenges associated with that, but uh, I think it becomes important on how you manage it with the days between games that we have, uh, uh, you know, to help with that. But, uh, you know, I think the guys like being around each other and because we haven't played a lot of hockey here of late, uh, this trip falls at a good time. And I guess the, the downside is time away from family, right? Well, yeah, of course. That's that's what I'm getting at. You, you never want to spend too much time away because all that all that stuff starts to add up. You haven't slept in your own bed. You haven't seen your loved ones. Uh, all those kind of things. Uh, um, you know, it, it wears on you over time. You know, when you're on the road, despite the fact that we we travel very well, we stay in great hotels, eat great food, all those kind of things. You know, about about the NHL, you try to make time on the road uh, as comfortable as possible, but it's not the same as being at home. Thanks. Last one here, we'll go to Terry Cochin with the Toronto Sun. Go ahead, Terry. Sheldon, so then do you turn to uh, Peter tomorrow night in Arizona? Yes. Just on, on Mrazek, uh, in a sense, you're almost getting a new goalie here, aren't you? And the fact that he hasn't played in a while, I think it'll be the 11th of December was his last game and healthy and all that. Uh, how key is it for him to be that sharp for you in the games that he will get here down the stretch? Do you think? I think it's very important. I mean, we went into this, you know, uh, thinking we would have two goaltenders that we would be able to rely upon on any given night and share the workload with Jack. Uh, that hasn't worked out that way, but fortunately for us, you know, Jack has uh, been rolling and uh, I guess it's worked out in, in, as a positive in Jack's case because he's just taken the ball and run with it and just built momentum here and has built confidence in his own game and, and found a, a rhythm and a groove. And then at the same time, our team has grown confidence in Jack. Uh, but yeah, I think it's, it is a, a good way to, to look at it with Mrazek and that it is sort of like a new season, you know, for him. It's been so long since he's played. We had a significant gap. We had somewhat of a preseason type of feel before coming out on this road trip. Um, and he very much should be looking at it as a fresh start here. Um, and, you know, the, our schedule is going to heat up here eventually. You know, it's it's light right now and will be for the most part through the rest of this month. But it is going to heat up uh, down the stretch for sure. We've got a ton of hockey left to play here in this season and we're going to we're going to need Peter.